Was Jenny Boyd not happy meeting Kaylee Bryant? Is Matthew Davis canceled by his castmates after the feud with Paul Wesley? Did Danielle Rose Russell nearly quit her role after backlash from the fans? Let's talk about the personal struggles the legacy cast does not wish to relive. Jenny Boyd as Lizzie Saltzman, playing a 16-year-old student at the age of 29, is a true craft like no other. And you would be surprised what else these angelic facial features are hiding. Jenny has been in the industry for ages now, modeling all over the world and acting are her comfort zones by default. And it shows. The competitiveness she experienced from an early age definitely molded the actress into a tough nut to crack. When everyone in Hollywood is trying to snatch the ground beneath you, you gotta look out for yourself and trust nobody. But that motto did not serve Boyd well when it came to auditioning for her role in the CW Supernatural series. Jenny came for her screen test at Warner Brothers with no intention of making new friends. Quite the opposite of Kaylee Bryant, Josie in the series, who was hella eager to befriend her potential castmate. I was just really thrown. I was like, this girl is like, trying to throw me off in some really weird way. <laughs> <laughs> she thought I was playing like mental like mind games. Boyd was so convinced Bryant was trying to get her role that she literally hid in the bathroom from her to avoid any conversation. Yikes. So how exactly did Boyd build a friendship with Bryant? We are left to wonder. But one thing we know for sure is that Kaylee's personality disarms even the toughest guys. Whatever trust issues the legacy star had, they are long gone by now. The two are amazing friends now being each other's best support system one could ever wish for. You're so impressive. You're so impressive. Thank you. Okay, but I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Arya Shigasami as Landon Kirby. No one used to know who Arya was, but today, he is on the big screen shedding light on his cultural background. The actor is 24 now and cannot be happier to be able to share his identity struggles of being viewed as equal in society and the showbiz industry as an Iranian American. Arya's parents came to America when his mom was only 21, making him the first one in his family to be born here. Being a child to immigrant parents in the US and having a name not even remotely close to anything like Smith or Brown puts you in a very sticky position. And I am not talking about getting weird weird names on your Starbucks order. Okay, on a real note though, the actor spent years not feeling comfortable enough with sharing his identity and cultural heritage. And that's not even all. The actor used to tell people to call him Ethan instead to avoid any questions. In an interview with Accented, the Legacy's actor shared his struggle with sticking to his native language. I speak Farsi best when I am speaking to myself in Farsi. Then my mom and dad would speak to me in Farsi, and I will just respond in English. Arya got candid with his fans, saying the idea of home became just a vague term. It made him question where he actually belonged. Home is where I feel like being where I am comfortable at the moment. So then when people ask me where am I from, and then I say Minnesota, the part of me is like, eh. These days, Arya is long done with stereotypes about Middle Eastern cultures and what it's like having Middle Eastern parents. Although his mom still does not believe in acting as an actual profession that has potential for any career development. My mom still asks me if I want to go back to college. Since he was 18, Arya knew for a fact that acting was his vocation. Yet to this day, his mom tries to talk him into getting an actual degree. Well, if getting a normal job is not in his cards, Arya is ready for other ventures. The actor felt compelled to join the accented new media documentary to share stories of people of color. Being an actor for Arya is essentially representing his heritage in the film industry. At the very least, I can be a representation that it is possible. It is not a fruitless goal for Middle Eastern actors to get into the industry and play interesting roles that are not just cab drivers. You go, Arya. Matthew Davis as a lyric saltsman. Can you even believe that back in 2000, this guy played a douche who broke up with Reese Witherspoon? And now he's well-respected Dr. Saltzman in a supernatural school? Time flies. And in Matthew's case, it flies right in the direction of the supernatural and mythical world. Over the past decade, the actor has wholly submerged himself into teen series like The Vampire Diaries, The Originals, and Legacies, sticking to the TVD universe. Good old Alaric is one of the most comforting characters across the show. No wonder the spin-offs keep coming. And this year, the actor was ready to pass on all his wisdom. In March, the Davis family welcomed a new addition, daughter Ripley. But the news did not make as many headlines as the feud I am about to unveil. Let's get to the root of the drama. Amidst the new dad life, Matthew got himself into an online fight with Paul Wesley. The 42-year-old actor and role model on the show, guiding teens through their life battles, faced some major backlash for being a vocal supporter of Donald Trump. In October, Davis tweeted his disappointment with Vice President Mike Pence not being given enough time to speak during the debate with his opponent, Kamala Harris. His ex-co-star Paul 
Wesley was quick to chime in and clap back with the following message. It would be nice if Pence answered the question he was originally asked rather than deflecting. And that's when the line of peaceful chit-chat was clearly crossed. No need to be into politics to understand what happened next. In a series of heated tweets, Davis made a clear point. Wesley's comment was the last straw. Paul likes to vote for criminals and losers, just like he did in 2016. Your opinion on the matter carries little weight as far as I'm concerned. Next, after being ambushed by an insane influx of hate messages, Davis had to issue a public statement to his followers the day after. My apologize, sick, for getting snappy last night. It's been so combative around here these last days. I find it's making me edgy. I'm very sorry if I upset anyone for being an asshole last night. Was it one of those online feuds that went away overnight? Oh, far from that. Some legacy stands started waging a war against Matthew and went as far as creating a petition to get him off the show instantly. Later on, the star was pressured into issuing a series of tweets carrying his political stance with, for the record, I'm a social libertarian, which means I don't give a fuck about what you do in your private time, as long as you don't hurt others. He continued, what I am not is a racist, bigot, xenophobic, transphobic, homophobic, white supremacist, pedophile. These slanderous and despicable accusations are flagrantly untrue. This short-lived scandal made fans spur rumors that the cast kept their lips sealed about any other instances when Davis lost his cool on set. But the spat is clearly over now, or is it? We can tell no feelings were hurt when Paul sent his warm regards to Davis saying, lighten up baby boy, you know you miss me, at I am Matthew underscore Davis. So is the cancel party over now? Kaylee Bryant as Josie Saltzman. Oh. Hi. Did you know that the 23-year-old actress is a die-hard Stalina fan? Controversial, I know. Years later, the Legacy's lead still cannot believe she is part of the story she has been obsessed with since she was a kid. An actress and a model for Ralph Lauren since she was eight, Bryant spent her free time binge-watching The Vampire Diaries with her mom. I bet the real challenge for Kaylee must have been to stop fangirling over Matthew Davis on set. Not that it wasn't a big deal, but there's one thing that the Legacy star feels way more strongly about, and that's freedom of expression. Kaylee's character Josie is openly pansexual, which means the world to the actor, who openly claims to see no gender. Although the Vampire Diaries series had their fair share of problems misrepresenting the LGBTQ community, Bryant feels that Legacies has done it justice. The show was an incredible opportunity for Kaylee to be able to say, heterosexuality? Screw you. And she cannot be more proud of that. It means a lot to me, just because I don't know anybody in my friend group who is very set with who they are sexually and I feel very honored to represent that with Josie. Because Josie just feels love, and she sees love. You did it, girl. Danielle Rose Russell as Hope Michelson. When you see Danielle, you see nothing but confidence. <laughs> but don't be fooled. The actress's self-esteem has been hit multiple times. Being a successful actress who is always on display means being scrutinized on the daily by millions, whether you want it or not. Despite growing up in a showbiz family, her dad is a singer and her mom is a Broadway dancer, Russell never felt excited experienced enough to perform or act on TV. The 21-year-old actress has been acting and modeling since 10, yet self-doubt chased her constantly. I never really thought of making this something I would do for the rest of my life, she admitted once. Now, if you think being cast in a massive production like the original solves everything, you've never been so wrong. Quite the opposite. The TVD Universe fans do not cut her any slack. In fact, her feed was flooded with comments about her not being a good fit to portray Hope. Can you believe it? What can be better for your self-image than fan-induced imposter syndrome? Am I right? Danielle confessed that portraying Hope felt like being a big fish in a big pond. In the beginning, the fans were a little unsure of me, but thus far, the response has been really great. Now that Danielle has become an international star and proved everyone wrong, she reflects on the days when she almost turned her back on the audition. I remember going in for the callback, and I saw three other girls there, and I was like, I'm definitely not going to get this. Definitely. Now that Legacies has brought her so much fame, Danny admits that her guilty pleasure is watching fan-assembled edits of her character on YouTube. It's something I never want to get used to because I'm so grateful. But the truth is, not all the comments are kind and supportive in the comments section. The Legacies actress has been putting everything of herself into the process. But for some, her incredible performance is not enough. A while ago, Danielle was fat-shamed to the point where she felt pressured to address the issue publicly. I will rarely address this, but it's 
extremely upsetting that people are calling me unworthy, a bad actress, or degrading me because I have curves, she wrote. I love the fact that I have a curvier body. In fact, my curves make me feel empowered as a woman. It's extremely saddening that people feel the need to judge me based on my differences from other actresses. Danielle, listen up, girl. Whatever you say, we stan you. And we are counting the days until the release of the new season. Now, do you guys have the days marked in your calendar too until the trailers release? What do you think is going to happen in the third installment? Comment below, subscribe for more Legacies updates, and as always, thanks for watching.